hi everyone this is hello Angel or design today we are making this beautiful dress with tie-dye fabric you can use any fabric of your choice but i so much love this tie-dye fabric that has a purple and green it's really really beautiful and i just want to point this out i know that i have not uploaded video for quite some time because i am very very busy i was opening my shop and that takes a lot of time to do you have to do all the works make dresses so on and so forth look for someone to be in the shop it takes a lot of time and effort so today we are back so i decided to say let me show my beautiful viewers my subscriber how to make this step-by-step -step tutorial easy to make and you will love the way i show how to make this dress it's a simple dress with a cap sleeve if you don't know how to make cap sleeve i'll put the link on the description box below of which i have shown how to make cap sleeve you are going to use your basic pattern paper sleeve to make this cap sleeve of which i have also shown how to make your basic sleeve i will also put the link on the description box below and this dress has invisible zipper at the center back of the dress this is how it is and this dress also has a net inside which we will dive into it very soon and i just also want to point it out the way i show you guys how to make this dress on my youtube that is the way i usually make my dresses and every dress that i have shown you here on my youtube most of them are on my online shop or on my shop that i just opened like this dress right here i have made a lot of couples right here which i have not even finished yet you can see so i have about six or seven pieces of this dress which when i'm done making it i'm going to take it to my shop and display that so make sure to watch the video until the end so that you do not miss anything out it is very important to do that so that when you make your dress for your kids or loved ones it fits very nicely it's not so tight it's not so loose it's a perfect dress for the kids and please support us by subscribing thumbs up on our video comment down below if you have any question i will do my best to respond to your comments and let's get started have to do you are going to cut out your fabric on my youtube i have shown many times how you can cut out your skirt how you can place your pattern paper and cut out your male body's fabric so i have cut my out so that this video is not too long this is my skirt i have cut out the front and the back skirt and this is my bodies right here this is for the front and i've also cut out the lining i'm using black fabric to line in the top dress and i've also cut out the back and the lining and this is my sleeve the sleeve is cap sleeve and for this sleeve i am using the same fabric to line in my sleeve make sure when you're cutting your fabric you're going to cut four pieces and this is my lining skirt both front and back and for this dressmaking we are going to be adding a net on the dressmaking so let's put the dress together first thing that you have to do you open your front bodies this is the front of my fabric and i also pick the back body this is this is the front so i am going to put the both shoulder seam of the top bodies together once I am done pinning the both shoulder seam together, I will take it to my sewing machine and stitch the shoulder seam with one centimeter seam allowance. And I will also take my lining. So you can use the same fabric to line in your top dress or you can cut a different lining. So this is the front of my lining. I will put the both shoulder seam together like this and I will take the both shoulder seam to my sewing machine and I will stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance. Once I am done with that, I will take my sleeve so this is my sleeve right here i'm going to put the both front fabric together i will take it to my sewing machine and stitch the bottom edge of my sleeve and i will also repeat the same process with the second sleeve 
put the board fabric together and stitch the bottom edge of my sleeve. I have top stitched the shoulder seam of my top dress this is how it is right now and I've also stitched my lining this is how it look and I'll take it to my ironing board I press the seam apart so what I'm going to do I am going to put the both top dress together both lining and the main fabric together like this make sure that both front fabric are facing each other i will take it to my sewing machine and i'm going to stitch the neckline before you start stitching the neckline make sure to measure your zipper seam allowance inside my zipper seam allowance is 1.5 centimeter i will continue from here and i will go ahead and i will end before my 1.5 centimeter seam allowance once i am done with that i will take my scissors i will snip around the neck line i am not going to stitch the armhole yet because we are going to attach our cap sleeve so go ahead and stitch that together the next thing that you have to do you take your sleeve i have also stitched my sleeve this is how it is i take my scissors i just snip all around the sleeve so what i'm going to do i am going to take it to my sewing machine i am going to push the seam allowance towards one side of my sleeve because i'm using the same fabric to line in the sleeve so you can hardly tell which side is the line and which side is the main fabric so i'll push the seam allowance towards this side and i will give it a top stitch all the way down and i will also repeat the same process with the second sleeve I'll push the seam allowance towards this side and I will give it a top stitch all the way down. Once I am done with that, I will take it to my ironing board and give it a good press. And I will fold the sleeve into two like this and I will stitch a gather stitch thread at the top edge of my sleeve. So go ahead and stitch them together. stitch my sleeve together this is how it look and i stitch a gather stitch thread at the top edge of my sleeve and i also repeat the same process on this other side the next thing that we have to do we are going to take a measurement from the armhole so we are measuring inside the armhole the measurement that i'm going to take is going to be four centimeter so you place your measuring tape like this you measure inside four centimeter and then you come down to the other side that is the back top dress you also measure inside four centimeter so once you have done that i will just turn my top dress you make sure to also repeat the same process on the other side of the armhole so i'm turning my top dress and i will pick my sleeve fold it into two like this take your scissors and notch the mid part once you have done that place your sleeve like this so when you are placing your sleeve this is where we under stitch the sleeve this is our under stitch sleeve make sure that this side that is not showing stitches is going to be facing the top dress place it like this both shoulder seam and your notch are matched and you secure that with a pin and then you come down to the armhole i'm just pulling my thread aside come down to where you mark your four centimeter inside place it like this make sure that the edge is pointing out and you come down to the other side you repeat the same process So once you have done that this is what you are going to gather you can see that you're not going to pull it so much 
you just pick your thread you start pulling your sleeve i have pinned the bold sleeve on the arm hole the next thing that you have to do take it to your sewing machine stitch them together once you have done stitching then you pick your lining place it on top of it again you are going to top stitch for the second time you pin it all together and you top stitch with one centimeter seam allowance depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric you go ahead and stitch the arm hole together once you have done that make sure to remove your gather stitch tray once you have removed your gather stitch tray take your scissors snip around the arm hole turn it inside out take it to your ironing board and give it a good press I have stitched the slit together. I take my top dress to my ironing board, press it very nicely. This is how it looks once you turn your dress inside out. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to stitch the side seam of the top dress together. So you pick the back and the front, make sure both main fabric are facing each other, both lining are facing each other. Take it to your sewing machine and stitch the side seam together. And you come to this other side, put the both main fabric together, both lining together, take it to your sewing machine, stitch the side seam together. Once you have done that, you take your skirt lining, I put the both side seam together. This is how it is. I will take it to my sewing machine and top stitch the both side seam together. Once I am done with that, I will overlock it with my overlocker sewing machine or you can also use zigzag to overlock the raw edges. And you also pick your main fabric, put them together, both back and front. When you're putting them together, make sure that both front fabric are facing each other. Go ahead and stitch the side seam together. Once you have done that, take it to your soldier, overlock the raw edges, or use zigzag to overlock the raw edges. Once you have done that, stitch a gather stitch thread at the top edge of your skirt and also repeat the same process with your lining stitch a gala stitch thread at the top edge of your lining I have stitched the side seam of my top dress. This is how it is. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to gather the skirt at the waistline of my top dress. So what I'm going to do, I am going to open my top dress like this. Make sure that you separate the lining and I will pick my skirt. I will put the both side seam together, both side seam of the skirt, both side seam of my top dress, put them together and secure that with a pin and i will come to the other side i will repeat the same process both side seam of my skirt both side seam of my top dress i'll put them together and secure that with a pin so what i'm going to do i will just go ahead and start gathering my skirt at the waistline of my top dress once i am done with that i will show you how it look I have gathered my skirt around. This is how it is. You can see I've pinned them all around both the lining and the main 
fabric the next thing that i'm going to do i will take it on my sewing machine i will stitch it all the way down and i will also repeat the same process with the lining my seam allowance is half an inch or 1.3 centimeter when i'm going to stitch my skirt at the waistline of my top dress i will place my net from the waistline and i will pleat it all the way down i don't want my net to be stitched on the lining i want my net to be stitched on the may fabric and i don't want to measure down from the lining and then start stitching my net because i want the fullness to start from the waistline so i am going to pleat my net at the waistline of my top dress and i will go ahead and stitch it all around at the same time so when i'm stitching the net at the waistline of my top dress i will show you how i am going to stitch them together on my sewing machine so let's go ahead and stitch them together I have stitched the skirt together this is how it is as you can see i pleat the net on the main fabric and i've also taken it to my overlocker i overlock the raw edges this is how it look once you have done that the next thing that we have to do we are going to stitch our zipper at the center back and i've also measured my seam allowance inside my seam allowance is 1.5 centimeter so what i'm going to do i am going to stitch invisible zipper at the center back of this dress making i have shown many times how you can stitch your invisible zipper on your dress once i pin my invisible zipper on my dress i will thread my needle and use hand stitch to stitch it together and then i will take it to my sewing machine and top stitch and i've also shown how you can fold your lining on top of it and top stitch i'll put the link on my description box below so that you can go and watch the video on how to stitch invisible zipper at the center back or before you take it to your sewing machine you can always use your thread and needle to top stitch so that the pins are not getting on the way so go ahead and stitch your invisible zipper at the center back once you have done that i will show you how my finally look i have stitched my invisible zipper at the center back this is how it look once you have done that i will just open the dress this is how it is i use my lining to cover the raw edges the next thing that we have to do we are going to finish stitching the center back of the may fabric and we we'll also stitch the lining all you have to do you put the both center back of your skirt together you go ahead and top stitch you put the both center back of your lining together you go ahead and top stitch once you have done that also use the opportunity to hem your skirt i will fold inside half an inch that's 0 0.5 inch or 1.3 centimeter and then i will fold it again half an inch 0 0.5 inch and 1.3 centimeter i'll go ahead and top stitch it all around for the lining i am going to attach a lace at the lining so this is my lace if you don't have a lace to attach on the lining you can always hem your lining what you are going to do fold inside 0 0.5 inch or 1.3 centimeter fold it again 0 0.5 inch or 1.3 centimeter and top stitch it all around once you have done that your dress is finally ready i will show you the final look of this beautiful one to two years old simple dress tutorial This is the final look of my dress i have stitched the center back together this is how it is i stitched the center back together and i've also hemmed my skirt and i have attached the lace at the bottom edge of my skirt as i explained before
and this is how it finally look once you have done making your own dress this dress making is for one to two years old child please support us by subscribing thumbs up on our video and comment down below happy new year to each and every one of you thank you for subscribing thank you for commenting thank you for your like and you all should have a wonderful day bye for now